Now they have it. Not too shabby. What? The no. deal is made, and you have a goal, albeit a distant one. Your new friend has assured you that passage to Imoan can yeah, be that's bought. That's what I So you are certain the final tally will include much more than gold. Any help is welcome, however. And while the cost may be steep, your path is clear. Finding Imuin will lead to Irenicus and to answers long overdue. Indeed. <coughs> These are the prisoners from the disturbance at Joaquin's promenade. What is known? <laughs> Not but their names. The mage is John Irenicus. The girl is Emmeline. I didn't do anything. He did it all. I had... Silence, child. Allow the fool to make his judgment. Why was this man not gagged? Did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, in the end, he came willingly. Hmm. Jeez, I wonder if he's going to beat them. They are to deviant. Pump or something. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure they will be confined to spell. Mage like that, yes. Now there you go. Although, yeah, there is an alternate way to get uh, to women and all that, I'm pretty I sure. But, uh, what the hell, there we go. On to uh, chapter 2. So I suppose that's why I could only go to the uh, slums in that case. So, can we also have a uh, couple of things to pillage from here? Oh, for fuck's sake, not the locked chests, god damn it. Anything with a locked chest. Ah, speaking of which, who's got that chimp bag? Ah, there we go, perfect. I am I am right behind right? Yeah. Oh, what do you know? He actually succeeded in doing something. I hate to think. And yeah, I suppose that stuff can be sold at the very least. of crap happening at the uh, copper credits it seems. Anyway, let's see what the hell's upstairs. Religion, really. Okay, you can tell what that bear wants to. Damn it. Damn it, you shim, I couldn't bloody lock people over there, could you? Oh, well, anyway, what the hell's he- oh shit. Okay then, well, so I guess I should watch out there. History of arm, blah blah blah, perfect. And that plus one, I suppose it'll be worth selling. Damn it, I can't believe I bloody ran into a trap like that without checking for us. Uh, oh, okay. So. And we'll just heal up a little bit more. There we go, we'll see what, what the hell is Allegian, or Allegian has to say. I know a discerning eye when I see one. I think I was actually in Baldur's Gate 1, that voice. Anyway, I suppose I can at least sell the stuff that I just looted from them. Rather humorous to say the least. And open container. Oh, I can actually sell stuff directly from the container. I'll be damned. Huh. Well, there we go. That makes things a bit simpler, actually. And the dart as well. And I think that was it from there. Ah, that's right. We had this other crap to sell. Two and nothing in here, I believe. Nope. Alrighty, let's see what does this guy have uh, otherwise to buy. Bullets, bullets, aim and protection. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there is an alternate route to uh, get to Renicus and the Wizard, uh, Renicus the Wizard and um, Imowen, although I might be mistaken actually. Well, what the hell, we'll just follow through and see what happens. Uh, this looks like pretty uh, dull stuff for the time being. Yeah, I do have a few fancier uh, weapons and all that. Not too much to say, the least. Another gem bag, of course. And. Huh, interesting. Uh, let's see, restoration. Restoration. Yeah. Nothing else. Ah, no, this looks interesting. Glasses of identification. Hm. 
which is kind of funny really because we're not that far away in reality from having such glasses that um, well, basically automatically display uh, text near various objects and stuff like that uh, so called augmented reality uh, but anyway let's have a look hmm. yeah, I don't really know if it's actually worth 2,000 well almost 2,000 gold pieces screw it I can just use my spells for that so it does have some interesting things I have to say at least Which had like a bunch of videos. Okay, there we go. Finally getting the hell out of there. Yes. Perfect. To the edge of the slums, eh? Teleports me there basically. And off we go indeed. So, where the hell is this? Oh, okay, down there. How the hell. Let's so go there. we get missed the graveyard bridge. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I can actually basically go everywhere. Perfect. Now oh, there you go, tests are always pretty fun. Imagine how things would be if you uh, didn't have to go through one test after another, especially in the education system. It just wouldn't be uh, as interesting. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's have a look. Here yeah, we do have various things to explore, and all the planet sphere even, that should be pretty fun. There is a way to get in there, but um, I think you need a particular character to get in there. Pepper. Oh crap! Really? Fugs attacking in the middle? Of the wow, broad daylight even. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. And she almost got killed from that. Incredible. Wow. Jesus Christ. Okay, I didn't really expect that, I'll tell you that much. Now what we should be able to take out these guys pretty quickly, but still, my god, the fact they actually attacked in their broad daylight like that. But then again, I suppose these are the slums, and there they go as my main character. Well, wow. when did I last save that one? That's a question. Uh, quick save. Auto save. Okay, I suppose we'll just go off the auto save then. Since, uh, yeah, there we go, that's when I just left. Perfect. And, yeah, what the hell, just teleport me over there and I'll just try to take out those uh, ruffians uh, this time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You point, I punch. <laughs> something very unexpected to say last. Alright, so if I go back up here, I wonder if they'll respawn. I think it's a bit random, this sort of stuff, but, uh, oh, there we go. Wow. Oh, come on, man, she wasn't the freaking front of the group and they're still attacking. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, there we go. Now let's get some. Get them into the frame. Wow, these fugs actually uh, seem to know what they're doing there. <laughs> Interesting. Well, there we go. We should be able to take them out with uh, nearly a bit of magic being used. Unfortunately, I don't think I can change armor. That's right. I don't think I can change armor no, during combat, of course. Damn it. Uh, I should have access to all these priest spells, though. Not much else, though. Yeah, what the hell, I guess I might as well cast a uh, whole press for it. It's really? Bloody street toughs managed to resist that spell, that's just freaking dead. Ah, oh, there we go, screw it, we should be able to take him out anyway, but still, that is kind of ridiculous though. And, oops, we want him to, uh... Okay, there we go, perfect. I don't think he has a very good armor class. We can go, take out the damn marker. There we go. What if Jahiru was to give a speech about things not being safe, now that it's uh, plainly obvious that things are certainly not safe, and of course they got useless bolts and all that, it's just freaking dandy, and armor which really doesn't uh, sell for that much. Just keep getting dandy and dandy. 
can identify spells though for some reason. There we go. Alright, and... Actually, that's probably already... No. Hey, uh, actually, I think I'll go to the Copper Coronet first. I think I'll just go anti-clockwise, like my uh, original plan before I decided to go northward. Let's go there, and I suppose we could go to the Temple and Boronel's house first. Not too much. And Halfling Woman probably doesn't have much to say. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that's the entrance to the uh, Copper Coronet. Let's just do the uh, second entrance there. So I think I've got these stairs first, and let's see what is within uh, this rather slapdash looking establishment and uh, I think names are not even a bloody name so he's not going to tell me anything too useful and rather classy people yelling, peasants, commoners really where the hell is Jahir? oh freaking idiot ok, I'm going to store to clear out these uh, barrels there and oh look at that, a single gold piece uh, so anyway, anyway, hopefully there's um, Ah, oh, perfect. Hopefully there's something a bit more uh, interesting around here. At the very least this house has been locked. Let's see if it was locked for a reason. You require my counsel, yes? Yoshimo is willing. My god, he's actually lockpicking stuff. That's incredible. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. I think I'll just keep detecting traps anyway and uh, yeah, just see what happens basically. It's this boring goal, he uh, doesn't seem to be around anywhere, so so much for his uh, fancy locks doing anything. <laughs> and oh, fancy Warhammer. And I believe it's a Warhammer plus one, I think. Yep. RD4 plus two. Before. Yeah, it still doesn't do as much damage, although I guess it would come in handy until I sell it off anyway. Okay, let's see. Very well. Wow, we actually succeeded in locking it as well, and it actually got some gold pieces from there. Yeah, that wasn't too shabby really. I was kind of hoping for um, Borinol or whatever his name was to actually be here as well, maybe to uh, offer something, either whether it's a challenge to combat or a quest or something. But uh, new, uh, I guess he uh, wasn't there at the time, for whatever reason. Yeah, let's see. Peasants, really. And more peasants. Alright, I guess we'll see what the hell's in these barrels, though. Ah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Hot one whole gold piece. Ah, six gold piece. I suppose that ends up, though. But come on. I think they could give a little bit more, perhaps. But, uh, that one. And another but damn peasants. I think they're actually so fat. I mean, if I only have a skinny one, I don't know if she's going to have that much to say, to say the least. Ah, there we go, and this will be the uh, Temple of Ilmato, and half man doesn't have too much to say. Ah, oh, and I can't go up those damn stairs either. Uh, not bad. Kuma and Priest of Ilmato also have a beggar. It's not much really to say the least. In fact, I'm not really sure why we're bothering to talk to this guy. Yeah, no. So it's just the same as all those other guys, so I was just staying there. I was kind of hoping it at least stamp off a quest or something, which nope. And really just do manage to get another scroll of identification. So I can uh, sell that off. Okay, and that was pretty much everything really. I think we'll just go down here. Just go through this door just to make sure that um Oh there you go. Got some classy uh, atmospheric sounds there to say the least. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that door does also lead to the copper cronut as well. Just have to, just want to make sure that. <coughs> and there we'll be finding the fifth member of our party, and then from that point on, onwards I have uh, five permanent members and a sixth member, and um, will just be rotated in and out uh, depending on the, uh, well, whatever side quests I'm doing. Because some characters actually you need to have them in your party in order for the uh, quest to work. But uh, yeah, I'll find the fifth guy in here, and yeah, we'll see who he is soon enough. So do we have anyone here to talk to? What dogs and all that? Halfling woman, so not much really. Not much at all. And